Shalom Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the other hopeful elect out there. Uh, my brothers out there that's pushing 100% truth day in and day out, you know, just always constantly doing the work. And all these brothers and sisters, uh, one thirds that believe in 100% truth, because this is it, babies. We're getting danger close, and that's why I'm making this video, man. I uh, compiled a, a few videos uh, about the Edomites. This one's showing the Edomites uh, who they really are, man, because they don't believe in Yahweh Shai. They, just like the other nations, have their own gods. And uh, so I just put together a few videos from camp showing you that they are they believe in, in their God, which is Jesus Christ, which is okay. But the thing about it is that they made a lot of jakes and two-thirds do the same thing. Worship other go going just like the our, our forefathers going after other gods. And that's what's going on here. So I'm going to just quickly read, the, read these scriptures, man. And we're going to get to the video. Okay, I got two scriptures to read real quick. Uh, this is Jeremiah. Uh, where's my glasses? Chapter 25. Verse four, and the and the Lord has sent unto you all His servants and prophets, rising early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear. They said, Turn ye again now, every one from his evil way and from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai hath given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. And go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands and I will do you no hurt. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, said Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. Okay, now that's going out to our brothers and sisters out there. And anybody that's still on the fence about this thing, anybody that has, has gotten the ear and heard this this 100% truth, and you're still on the fence, man, you might, what they are, what the old folks used to say, you better shit or get off the pot. Because it's getting hot around here. And there's a lot of work to be done. Let's go to book, uh, this is Amos chapter 3 verse, I'm sorry, 3 verse 1. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Like, once again, we're just going to bring this out and say, Hey, this word, this truth, salvation, is only for the Israelites, man. Period, point blank. So there's a certain amount of truths that are just absolutely without a doubt. Okay? So all that stuff is done. Now let's get to this video. So the first video we're going to get to. Uh, so this Edomite is going to come up to me uh, in the video. And he's going to proclaim to me. If I ask me if I want to know about the Lord and everything. Because he's trying to. Just like this other, some uh, black people, they want to teach me about Jesus Christ. They want to bring me back to Christianity. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going backwards here. Let's go back to sleep. So, um, I'm going to let the video play. And then at the end, when he walked off in a, in a huff and, and he's pissed off, I got this other black brother over here in the truck. And I just... And he is... Uh, He's, I just edified these sisters, and he's trying to pull the word out of their mouth. So I got scriptures for that. So after the video, I'm going to I'm gonna pull out four scriptures, okay? He said, they were not, they were none, none of my counsels. They despised all my reproof. And then when you try to correct them, nah, nah, nah. It's this, it's that. Because they think they know more than the gospel of peace, man. They think they know more than what the word of the Bible is actually saying. That's what it's saying. So he says, they would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Hey, you want to know what the true word of God is? No, I don't want to hear this man tell me he want to come and tell. I'm preaching the Bible. He's standing up here without no Bible in hand. What's the, What's the true, true word of God? In my heart, 
There you go. You heard him. You heard him firsthand. That's what the Edomites be saying because they say it's in my heart, man. Check this out. Check this out. This is the Bible. Jesus. He that's said, Jesus, it's the word of God. This is just scripture. Let me tell you the something. True you see, you living see that man word, over there? The living word You see that God. man over there? That's Jesus. See, he said, that's Jesus. But he don't know who Jesus is. He don't know who, who the most high is. That's his God. He just made it perfectly simple. That is his God. Because he's an Edomite. He has no idea. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Let me show you something. I'm going to show this man something. When you tell someone that they have no idea what's going on, you're talking about yourself. Okay, come, look, give me, give me, give me one, 30 seconds. He don't want to know the truth. He walking off in a, in a up, he's, he, he's mad now. He's mad now because I done talked about his white Jesus. Wow. So you saw, you saw the way he just come up, uh, and proclaiming that, that he, he knows it, he knows it all. Uh, but we... We have been, uh, have, have the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai blown into us, man. So we're out there uh, as watchmen warning our people. You know what I'm saying? So here is uh, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat thou, eat that thou findest, and eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat the roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. See, he don't understand because he's saying, they eat him right over there talking about some, oh no, um, it's in his heart. Because they can do whatever they want. Because they have no God. So they make up things as they go along. You know what I'm talking about? But we have to stick to the scriptures. We have law, statutes, and commandments. Because the Lord gave these law, statutes, and commandments to the house of Israel. He did not give them to the other nations. And that's what our people need to understand. And you know, and that just, that's just this is further proof, okay, of this. Now let's go to uh, Second, Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So, with that, the words of the Bible do, I mean, are needed. I mean, you cannot, you cannot serve the Lord without these things, man. Now, when I try to come and tell him the truth, he walk off in the storm. He don't want to hear the truth. He, I said, I asked him who he was, who that was, just like I asked you. He said, oh, that's Jesus. But you was too punkish to say that's Jesus. But you worship Jesus. Well, see, now we're getting down to, to the heart of the matter, man, because just just like him, and we've said this, and I said it just, on, just now, these people, they make up their own gods. They worship, worship false gods and false idols, not the true living gods. God of Israel, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, as most of our people do the same thing. This is this is John chapter four verse twenty-two. Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay? So what does that mean? Spirit and truth. Because he's given us the spirit to worship him in number one. And the truth is knowing who he is, number two. Not just worshiping some false god and false idol as the tradition of men has 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 uh, uh, deceived the whole world into doing, man. Let's go to uh, John chapter 14, verse 17. It says, Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. See, because that is the spirit. Okay? 
That's why we that's why we have to defend the gospel. That's why we come out here on the highways and hedges to wake up the, the elect and the one third people, man, because they still under the under the vibration of these of these Edomites, man, and all that stupidness that they pushing, brothers and sisters. Okay? Because we all know I would read it, but we know this. I'm gonna read it anyway. Revelation chapter one verse uh fourteen. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Okay? Alright, let's get back to the video. Because we know that the Edomite that got out there, uh, so-called Jesus Christ, is not the, the, the God of this Bible, man. Okay? And they, they tell, they're letting you know that. That's why they hate the words of this Bible, because it, uh, it, it, bears their leg it bears their shame okay let's go back to the video i'm not talking i'm talking to him see there you go again hey y'all watch out for that man that man do not listen to him he will gonna put a stumbling block right in front of you he does not he does not have faith in the true and the true word of god trust me he probably parked right here just to try to he probably parked right there just to make sure that y'all don't get the true word of God. Don't listen to that man. Believe me, sister. Now, this is the case of a a, a wicked Israelite, you should, should you say. A brother that I done tried, man, talk to that brother so many times. But he, he's, he's got his heart set on white Jesus. Even though I showed him, I have a, I have a, a larger Bible uh, that, you know, you, if you buy the right Bible, you can get the translation of uh, the Hebrew right in the Bible so I have one Bible like that and it says Yahweh where uh, when uh, when Moses asked the Lord uh, what should he say you know who, who sent him who sent him and it's, it's, it's translated to Yahweh but that man don't he don't give a damn man because he he, he he just he's blind I told him before the Lord must be not blind to him you know I told him to pray with all his heart and ask the Lord to let him see but he just come parked there, and he just, um, he's, a, he's a scoffer now. But this is uh, St. Matthew, chapter 13, verse 18. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone hear the word of the kingdom, and understand it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed into stony places, and and same is he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth, dureth for a while. For when tribulations or persecution arises because of the word by and by, he is offended. He also received seed among the thorns. Is he that heareth the word, and the, and the care of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he become unfruitful. But he that receiveth seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. And that's what we're talking about, brothers and sisters. That's what we want, man. You know, we, we're trying to wake up one third and uh, 144 elect because there's a lot of people that are going to hear the word. Some people are going to take interest in it. But you know, it takes it takes that one with the faith, man, to stay and understand. You know, to to that the Lord has actually blessed, man. So, but we're just planting that seed and let the Lord do the rest, man. Because you're either gonna get it or you're not gonna get it. You're either gonna uh, really go for it with all you got and and with reckless abandon and and throw this throw and and know that this place here is gone like grass withers in in in, in the heat of the day. You know what I'm saying? Just like the scriptures say. This place is going to be dissolved. This place is gone away. But we're looking for a new heaven and a new earth. You know what I'm talking about? So it's so beautiful, man. And at the same time, it's ugly. You know? But, hey, that's just uh, just like in uh, the Apocrypha. Um, how the Lord pits everything against each other. It's just, it, even with the word. You know? It's beautiful, but it's ugly. It has an ugly, ugly side to it. Okay, let's keep uh, let's keep going. All right, I don't I don't want to make the video too long, but I got I got we got th like three more uh, three more shorts coming up. Let's go let's go check out the next one.
Hey, before we move on, I want to clear that up. I want to read Revelations chapter 10, verse 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Because this truth is bitter and sweet, man. Let's, let's go check out the next episode. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 17. And now, brethren, I won't that throw ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which Yahweh before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets, that Yahweh should suffer, he had so fulfilled. So that's what the, that's what the Messiah came to fulfill. He came to die for your sins, not to not to fulfill the law. That's what they lie to you in church about, saying the laws are fulfilled. The laws are not done away with, man. How you doing, brother? I'm good. How are you? Let's read it again. And now, brethren, I won't. That through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which Yahweh before had shown by the mouth of all his prophets that Yahweh Shai should suffer, he had so fulfilled. It says, Repeat, repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Now he said, Be converted. Be converted from what? From your sinful nature, man. Being transformed, being uh, renewed, being reborn. That's what it's talking about. Because we're talking about the real rebirth here. Because you got to forget all that junk that they taught y'all up in these churches about this Caucasian man who is a false god and a false idol. Did you know that, sister? Did you know that? Huh? Check this out. We gotta do it for him. We're gonna do it because he's videotaping this. We're gonna do it for his camera real quick. This is what the true Messiah looks like. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like the Son of Man. Everybody knows that the Son of Man is Jehovah Shai. Clothed with the, with the garment down to the foot and girt about the path with the golden girdle. Something like this. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, right? And his eyes were like a flame of fire. And his feet was like was like unto fine brass, as if they were burned in a furnace. See, his feet were like fine brass. See, the man walked off when I told him that the Lord is actually a brown-skinned man, and not that Caucasian man that everybody's talking about is Jesus Christ, because he knows that that's not their God. They created this God for them, and we have our own true Savior, which is the one true living God, which is the one in the Bible. That's why in these churches, they care not about the laws, statutes, and commandments. They're more in the spirit, because it's lies that they set up in these churches, and they've got y'all following a false God and a false idol. Brother, did you know that you were one of the children of Israel? Did you know that the Messiah is actually a, a, a brown-skinned man and not a Caucasian man? more information, I got some stuff on the table for you, okay? It's on YouTube. Check it out, man, because the time is at hand. The Lord's coming back, and he wants everybody to understand what's going on. Oh, yes. Now you can, now you're getting the picture, right? You can clearly see uh, how these Edomites don't, don't care about the words of, of the book. And what did, what did Messiah say? I come in the volume of the book. He said, I am the book. You know what I'm saying? He that believe in me will have everlasting life. He that believe in the words of this book, man. So clearly you can see that these people, this nation of people, care nothing about the words of the book. They they have created their own uh, false god and all this false idolatry that they worship. And they have made the children of Israel worship. You see? You understand? Because when it comes to the words of the book, they don't want to hear that. Okay, let's let's just go to straight to the scripture. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24, 
Verse 14, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Okay? Then the second one I want to get is, uh, see, because, yeah, first we, the Lord wants everybody to know what's going on. Then he's going to bring down, bring the hammer down, man. First, because when, when, when he crack open the sky with those, with those, uh, IFOs, you know, and salvation comes, he wants everybody to know, whoa, that's the Messiah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go to, uh. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. It says, For I think that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai had set forth us, the apostles, last, as we were appointed to death. <clears throat> For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to the angels and men. We are fools for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, but ye are wise in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Because we we are made a spectacle. You saw how the man just stopped there in the middle of the damn street, sat down on the cool on his cooler, like it's some kind of joke or laughing stock. You know why? Because it deep down in his mind, he knows that he's serving a false god and a false idol. And he thinks it's funny when the children of Israel are doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Cause cause we've been dumbed down and stupid, right? Oh, he probably don't believe in, in the Messiah anyway, because these, uh, these, uh, these higher ups, these elites, done got everybody, uh, thinking about the Big Bang theory and every, every, anything else, except for the truth. Okay, so we bring out the truth in these last days. This is why I say the Lord said He set us up last. You know what I'm saying? The, and the apostles brought that out earlier. He done set up the last. We are last. So you done had your run-ins with all of these other pastors and ministers all over the place. Running up and down, setting up tents all over the place, lying to you with this false doctrine. And then he's bringing out the truth last. And we appointed to death, man, because we got to do that to get to, to get the kingdom anyway, just like the Messiah did. He said some of us gonna, may not die, but most of us probably going to have to be trans, trans, translated like that. And we are made a spectacle to the world. He saw the man bringing out his camera and everything, like I said before. Okay, and we are fools. For you, how about Shimmy? How shot? That's right, man. We are, we gone, man. We shot, we shot out, we strung out, boy. And that's right. We we should be because we have learned, we have known that there is nothing else that matters in this world except for obtaining mercy from the from the Creator of the universe. You know what I'm talking about? Because we're some filthy rags, man. And we know that there's nothing but lies and deceit down here, and nothing but oh, it's just disgusting, man. So yes, we are fools for you. How about Shimmy? How shot? But we are wise in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because we are the smart ones. Because what do you say? Uh, oppression, makes a, oppression makes a wise man mad. You know what I'm saying? So we can see all the oppression and all the lies and everything. So, you know, once again, giving all honors and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai for waking us up, man. To the truth, to see all this wickedness and all this deception going on around right in front of our face. He said, but ye are strong and honorable. Yeah, because these, these pastors in these churches, the T.D. Jakes and all these other people uh, with these mega churches, you know, they're why they're honorable. Everybody look at them like they the man, even though they, they're robbing them blind, buying uh, airplanes and stuff. This is ridiculous, man. Huh? Where's the aims at then? See, because they're not following the words of the book, the scripture, man. It says, but we are despised. So, yeah, let's see how the man just walk off. When he heard, when he hear the truth, he didn't even want to hear the truth. He couldn't get away fast enough when I started uh, reading the description of the true Messiah. See what I'm saying? So, is there one more? Okay, Daniel. Let's go to Daniel real quick. Uh, okay, this is uh, Daniel chapter 12, verse 9. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel. For the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end, which is now. It says, Many shall be purified, made white, and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. Now, there's two wickeds. There's a wicked of Israel, uh, just like the brother before, trying to stumble up them sisters. 
They don't understand. They don't want to. They don't want to repent. They don't want to turn with the whole heart and the whole mind and beg the Lord. Um. And then the true wicked, which is Esau, Edom, they're not going to understand because they're too damn proud to acknowledge the creator of the universe. That's why they come up with the Big Bang Theory and deceive the whole world. That's their job, man. So, uh, okay, that's about it for that, I think. And we're going to go on to the next. We're going to go on to the next clip, okay? All right. Now, brothers and sisters, uh, forgive me because this next clip, uh, the audio got messed up due to the rain in, in the top of the camera. Uh, that's why I had to go and get that shotgun microphone. But this, this was a, uh, a good piece to show because at this moment I'm reading to him um, Revelations 1 through 14 about what the, what the Yahweh Shai looks like. Now this particular man is always listening to... Uh, the scriptures when I be bringing them out because he he like hangs out right down the beach all the time So he just couldn't take it no more this day. And he came over to to accost me man And this is what's going on now. So I read to him what the Messiah looks like man So this and this goes on for a long time. He gets all up in my face man and everything you'll see Okay, now this man He's uh so he he's he's like getting all so heated. So here's the scriptures, man. We're gonna bring out um, Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 19, and it says, "O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth. They shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit." Yeah, because these brothers, these people, now, they're seeing that, hey, man, something wrong. Because these brothers out here, we out here prophesying and telling the truth about the Bible, man. So they can't hide in all of their, their lies that they done spilled over to the children of Israel by now. You know, they can't hide with their false, their false uh, Jesus no more, man. Okay? Now we're going to move to uh, Galatians chapter 6. Verse 7. I can find it real quick. Okay. This is the book of Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. It says, Be not deceived. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Because now it's time to pay up. It's time for them to pay up, man. Let's jump over to 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. It says, Sin it is a righteous thing that Yahweh shy to recompense tribulations to them that trouble you. Sin it is a righteous thing that Yahweh to recompense tribulations to them that trouble you. They're going to pay them back, man, for all the stuff they done did to the children of Israel, man. Yeah, you see how the man's all in my face, man? Because they, they hate it. They hate the truth, man. And, and now, they just like the uh, prophets and apostles say, and the elders and everybody say, man, these people now, they're getting really nervous and scared because they done inherited lies, man. And they're trying to, they're trying to backpedal and get themselves out of it, all the ones that are not the elites. But this is the word of the Lord. And the Lord said this is going to be preached because he wants these people to know what's going on before the hammer drops down on them, you know? So this is uh, Revelation 13, verse 9. And it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's right. Well, that's what we're patiently waiting for. And we have faith that the Lord is going to execute this righteous judgment and put everything back in order, man. Yes. Now, we're not going to stop there. Let's keep going. Let's go. Uh, got like, uh, I think we got two more scriptures, man. Uh, this is uh, the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. It says, The earth is given to the, into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, because these Edomites done covered up. Look how the man got his hands all up in my face. Because they, they hate it, man. Yeah, these, Edomites, these Edomites done covered up the faces of the judges. They done uh, stole our heritage and our land, man. And it's time for the Lord, to, 
Lord's going to come back, man. And we that's what we're out there doing. We're pushing the word of the Lord, letting everybody know that the time is at hand. All the righteous and all the wicked. And the wicked of Israel. You know what I'm saying? This is a righteous thing that we're doing, man. You know, it should make you feel good, brothers, to come out and spread the, the, the spread truth on the earth for once. Amidst all these lies. And I wanted to just say one more time. Can't say it enough. Thank you. All praises to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Bahashim Rakakadash for opening up our eyes. Not just mine, but our eyes, brothers. You know, to see this truth, see this wicked world for what it is, see all the lies and giving us giving us the spirit. You know, and, and the loins to, to be able to stand bold like a lion and declare his word in, in front of the enemies, man. This is this is a marvelous work right here, brothers. Okay, let's let's go to the last scripture. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Well, let's, let's start at 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And that's what we're doing out on the high, highways and hedges, man, and the byways. Uh, making sure we get our, our brothers and sisters, the, uh, the 144 uh, elect, and the one third, you know, anybody that can hear the word, because the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice. We out here uh, blowing the trumpet, man, in these last days, because these people have deceived the nations. Um, they are contrary to the word of the Lord, period, on point blank. Okay, so we now we're coming up to the last uh, video. This lady here comes. She says, she is the Lord. I thought you didn't believe in the Lord. I didn't say that. You can't. No, no. You said the Lord is a. You said the Lord is a rainbow. You're talking about somebody else. He ain't the rainbow. We're talking about two different. We're talking about two different things here. You got to stop this right now. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Sound an alarm in all the mountains. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord coming. Come on, please. For if it is nigh at hand. Thank you, my friend. The day you cannot reject the word of God. The Lord, the day of the Lord is at hand, people. Come on, creation. So look, y'all. That. That's, that should do it. That's, I'm about to wrap this video up because that's enough, enough evidence against these Edomites to let you know. And it's not only these that I put on the video. All these Edomites walking by, they're all the same. The Lord says um, that, you know, you can't wipe, wash away the rust. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, though hand in hand, you can't, you know, you're not going to be able to save these people. Don't forget, we're going to go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 68 real quick. It says... And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way I spake unto thee, and there shall see it no more again. And there you should be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall share by you. Now, but that's a stumbling block to a lot of brothers and sisters out there. But these are the words of the Lord. And that's why he say it's bitter and sweet. Okay? Because there's no doubt about it. The, the Lord proclaimed that these people would be the enemy. Okay, there's always a good and bad. He pits things, uh, 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 you know, and vice toward against each other. So for now, it's Jacob and Esau that are pitted together. All right. So with that, I hope this I hope this lesson was edifying to somebody and let y'all know to wake up, brothers and sisters. And these people have been deceiving us forever. You know what I'm saying? But it's time for the brothers and sisters to wake up, to turn. Back to the tr uh, true Lord in power. I'm going to leave you with one more scripture before I go. Uh, Jeremiah 25 verse 4. This book of Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 4. It says, And the Lord has sent unto you all his servants and prophets, rising early and sending them but ye have not hearkened, nor inclined your ear to hear. They say, Turn ye again, now every one, 
from his evil way and from the evil of your doings and dwell in the land that the Lord hath given you and you to your fathers forever and ever. Now we didn't do that. That's why we're in punishment right now. That's why we're in captivity right now. But the Lord say, hey, now is the time to turn and repent again. And go not after other gods to serve them. And that's what brothers and sisters are doing. That's what we have been doing with all these Baptist churches and all these other churches that belong to the Edomites. That's their God. That's their false God and false idol. Our one true living God is the one of the Bible. Okay? And you have to worship in, in spirit and truth. He said, and go not after other gods. This is verse 6. And go not after other gods to serve them. And to worship them and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands. And I will do you no hurt. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, said the Lord, that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. So it's already been written that some of our brothers and sisters out there just not going to get this word. But those that can hear, let him hear and let him repent with a whole heart and with his whole mind. Not like all those other camps out there. Follow the 100% truth of the GMS camp way, man, and the way of the Father. He is the one way, he said. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, with that said, I just want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, bringing out this 100% truth all the time, man. And staying diligent to the word, you know, and keeping all the other camps and brothers in line, you know, giving them shining shed that light, brother, so people can see which way to go in this darkness, man. Okay? Um, and I want to just say, you know, shout out to all my other brothers and Akims out there, uh, brothers and sisters who believe in the 100% truth. And they're also pushing the word all the time because, you know, we, we know how it is out there. But, hey. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakakadash, because this is a beautiful work, and I'm glad to be a part of it and not standing on the outskirts, scratching my head, trying to figure out what is that dude hollering at on the corner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Shalom, brothers and sisters.